all's going on. You know, we finished up our testing uh, with that small muffler, and we're getting ready to mount it uh, permanently. And I'm trimming everything up, and uh, I'll show you what we've got. I'm mounting the muffler like this. Uh, it's going to be a vertical mount, and we are going to uh, weld that all the way around completely, and then tack that in two different places and then it will be watertight so in theory I can go up into uh, the bottom of the carburetor which is more than I want to get into but there's always that option if I needed to so we're going to get this guy set going to tack it then I'm going to run a small uh, pipe out the side probably out this hole right here just to uh, give it uh, a place for exhaust and it may melt that uh, vinyl skin but that's okay if it does um, because I imagine over the lifetime of it I'll have to replace that quite a few times and I prepped this thing and I'll show you the finished product and, and I have to honestly say I think my welding has gone from just awful to bad so I'm improving. I'm not a welder. Uh, they're not pretty. They hold most of the time. Um, but we've got this welded on here pretty good. Now I'm going to take a uh, take this off, put a bend on it uh, where it's going to come out the side. I've already measured it, and it looks like it will fit inside this nicely. Uh, this is all uh, welded completely all the way around and all the way around there so that's all watertight I went ahead where it uh, goes into the other canister and ran a bead uh, where I could it'll the rest of it will rust into place uh, but this is it is locked on here really well so now we're gonna put that bend on the top more to come I've got this prep to accept the top piece we're gonna put a, uh, uh, a, a uh, piece of pipe that's gonna go out the side to uh, keep all the hot gases out uh, away from here uh, just to help it run a little bit cooler I think and we're having to flare this out a little bit and what I'm having to use to get this piece of pipe uh, to fit into here taking this tapping it with a hammer there and then rotating it and you can see I flared it out almost all the way around uh, not to show you hey look how smart I am but sometimes you gotta kinda improvise to get the result you want and you gotta think a little different to get it but this is coming along pretty good I'll show you uh, the finished product because I still don't have a tripod more to come guys maybe Santa Claus will bring me one okay guys Amen and hallelujah. We finally got it in there. And it is going to bolt. Hang on, I know you're at a funny angle. Exactly like this to discharge out the side. And just to try and muffle it even further, we're going to fill this up with uh, steel wool, cap it off with wire mesh. More to come, guys. Okay, guys, and that is where I think I want it. I'm gonna widen this hole up a little bit, and then we'll get another piece of pipe and uh, slide it through and uh, fit it over it, and that will be uh, where the exhaust comes out. So, I think we got this one taken care of. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Low idle. That's that's entirely doable. And I will show you the finished product. I'm going to run a small piece of pipe out that right there. all the uh, exhaust out from under here. 
And now I can actually ride. Uh, because it's quiet enough, it wouldn't be a problem. That's it for me, guys. I'm heading in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the shares as well. Happy birthday, Matthew Maddox. Y'all gonna make some mayhem. This has been a Damn Cat production.